What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Lesser Court, one of the best, bringing you some more DNF Duel from the new office. And I'm not tired of saying that yet. Everything is very much a work in progress. Like I said, camera angles, lighting, positioning. I got a whole new shelf I got to build and put over there in place of all those shoe boxes and everything like that. But I wanted to get another video out for you guys today since I'm, you know, starting to get settled in. I want to get, you know, back to being productive and getting on the grind. So here we are. And um, I haven't been able to play DNF Duel in what feels like over a week now it has to have been at least over a week at this point and uh you know i was having a lot of fun with the game and i didn't want to lose too much of the progress that i was making because i felt like i was getting pretty decent at the game and uh, learning a lot and well you know moving put a big wrench in that for a little bit so i wanted to get back to the grind um so right now we're actually just in a random person's room just in some player matches just like it you know kind of Warm up, get reaccustomed to things, get reacquainted, see if I see if I'd missed a step yet. Doesn't look like I have, and I'm still doing pretty decent. We're up against somebody who's silver four, and we're still bronze four, and we're winning this match at the moment. That being said, I wonder how much of that has to do with the fact that I'm playing Swift Master, because from my understanding, uh, Swift Master is considered easily one of the best characters in the game, and in a lot of people's opinion, the best character in the game. And a, I didn't, I didn't know that when I picked them. I mean, to be fair, nobody knew that when we first picked them because. Well, I just, I saw the trailer, I was like, yo, this character looks sick. And then I got into the game and I was like, yo, this character is sick. And so he's who I ended up making my main. Um, but I think I heard that some tournament even ended up, uh, damn it, hold on. Banning him from their event, which I, I think is awful. Uh, and it's not just a, a matter of like the fact that I play the characters. I know people say, you know, the bias or whatever, but I mean, the game just came out. It's so new. I think banning a character this early on in the game's lifespan is so stupid because as strong as he may be it's not like the character is completely and utterly broken and i mean most of the events i watched swift master wasn't even the character that was like i forgot what my safe jump setup was i think about it swift master wasn't even the character that was winning most of the events i've seen i'm not saying he hasn't won because he absolutely has but he it's not like he was just winning them all i mean and this is and this is a game too where like character power is just in general so strong i mean crusader is stupid hitman is stupid swift master is stupid like I, I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel. And like I said, I'm a Swift Master player, so I'm not going to say there's no bias here. But I, I think the idea of banning a character so early on is a really, really bad decision. And I can't help but wonder how much of that was influenced by the precedent set by, you know, Labco 21 recently being banned from events uh, in DBFZ. Because obviously, you know, that character, she was very strong. She was very hated amongst members of the community who didn't play her and even amongst people who did play her. Um, and I, it, it was just kind of unhealthy for the game, I, I will admit. Um, and also cause matches to take way longer because of the debuff super and how easily it was to you know pull that super off um yeah i i'm, I'm slowly starting to remember certain things i'm forgetting other things but yeah like i i, I could understand and see the argument as to why lab coat got got banned and, and i didn't even i didn't even want her to be banned at the time um but but i at least understood it but with this i i, I can't say i understand or agree agree with it at all Okay, and we take, we already won a whole game right now. We take the first round of the second game. But yeah, man, DNF Duel is a great game. I'm having a ton of fun with it. It's actually the game I'm enjoying the most right now. So I'm really excited to get back into it because I was, you know, making decent progress. I felt like, and obviously, you know, I play a good character. So it's feeling pretty good about my performance and everything. I should have done back throw. I should have done forward throw. I took, took her out of the corner. But um, yeah, I think with what we've learned so far, if I can just you know get back into the swing of things, we should be able to get two silver and probably through silver pretty quickly and relatively easily. Also, how did she recover so much life? My goodness! Wow, the 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 delay on the DP there was kind of crazy. Got it. We take that four rounds straight. But uh, yeah, man, how about you guys? How are you feeling about the game right now? Are you guys still enjoying DNF Duel? What are your thoughts about the roster, about character strength? Who do you hate? Who do you love? Uh, what events have you been looking at? It's a shame that this game actually isn't going to be part of EVO 
as one of the main games. I'm sure there'll be a side tournament for, for it somewhere and there's going to be people playing somewhere in the venue and in, in some of the hotel rooms and stuff like that. Um, so like, I'm sure DNF Duel will be in the building, but it's not part of the main ro uh, roster of games, which is kind of unfortunate because I think this game is sick and, you know, some people, uh, you know, aren't fans of it at all, but I think a lot of people are actually having a lot of fun with it where they're just like, yeah, this game's really stupid, but it's like stupid fun, you know what I mean? So, whoops, messed that up. That's fair, that's fair. Um, but yeah, man, I, I don't know if I'm gonna enter any sort of events for this game, whether it be online or offline, um, but I'm not opposed to the idea, you know? <laughs> I can see how it's kind of, uh, kind of difficult to take your turn back against Swiftmaster, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Also, when it comes to lighting, uh, in my office right now, God damn it, hold on. What do you what are you guys thinking? Do you prefer this like darker look or should I have the light on like I did in my last couple videos? Like the uh, the last DBMZ video I put up and um you know the the I guess you I guess you wanna call it a vlog, the vlog of me, you know, hanging the skate decks on the wall. Wait, why am I why do I keep doing that? Oh. I'll take that trade. Fair, fair. Gotta start baiting out that DP a little bit more. So do they. Dun, dun. Damn it. It's okay. It's 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 fine. It worked out. It worked out. And that's us taking things six rounds straight. That's three straight games. I think there's other people in this lobby. I don't know if they're waiting or not. Let me see. Can I find a match against another opponent? Is there anybody waiting and spectating or anything by chance? Uh, there is not. Um, oh, is there somebody at a different setup? Hey, you want to come play? No, come fight me! Come fight me! Come fight me! Oh, pain. Okay, well, I gave up my spot over there because we weren't obviously getting a lot of competition uh, from that guy who won six games straight without even giving it our full attention. Um, but that's fine. Maybe I'll go hop into a different lobby. Um, see if I can find somebody. So, I'll be right back with some more games. And we're back. This time we can say Bronze One Kanoichi player, which I didn't know they were Bronze One until we got to the screen. I set, I put my my room searching settings to be a room where the rank was the same as mine or higher. Now, when when you put rank being the same as mine, does that mean? See, that's what I, I don't I don't know. Does it mean that if I'm Bronze Four and this person's Bronze One, they're not the owner of the room? But uh, if does it just go by like the overall I guess metal? Cause you, you know you know what I'm saying like like since we're bronze four and bronze one are we still considered the same rank you know what I mean or is same rank like bronze four and bronze four I don't actually have the answer to that maybe you guys do whoopsie did a little bit too much a little bit too much but um yeah also you know this could also be a person which they didn't have a ton of player matches play but they could be somebody whose rank or whose skill uh, exceeds the rank, which oops, doesn't necessarily seem like the case. Also, I'm, I'm just playing really sloppy right now. All right, you and these kunai had enough of it. Anyway, we take that first round. <laughs> we were kind of letting them just jump around through a kunai willy-nilly, and I was eating it a lot. But hold on, let me, let me focus a little bit more on the match. Oh. My own tornadoes kind of ruined that for me. Yo, hold up. She, Kunaki kind of got some range to her, don't she? Back can buff me though. Uh, two. I might give this person a first or two and try to find one more opponent because I know there are people in this lobby who are absolutely higher ranked than me. Why do I keep dropping that? I'm not sure. There was there was definitely I've gotten a lot of helpful advice from you guys in the comments. And I was actually practicing and learning a lot, but like I said, since I haven't played, my hair is a mess. I desperately need to wash and condition it. Um, since I haven't played in what feels like two... You're not going to talk about it. I'm going to just pick that up real quick. Since I haven't played in what feels like two weeks, uh, you know, some of the more intricate details of what I was learning and, you know, some of the game plans and strategies and whatnot, I've, uh, and even some of the combos I've forgotten. Like, I still, I still remember about what, seemed, what feels like 
80% of what I learned, but not everything, obviously. Nice. I jumped, forgot no air blocking. Got that for a second. Oh, am I dead here? No. Dun -dun. Is it because I need to do 2B there? I think it's because I need to do 2B there. I was working fiercely on that comeback, but ended up dropping it. Nice challenge there. Good mash on the wind. Also, I didn't even combo into super, which I forgot that I can do. And just in general, the combo that I'm doing is not obviously very optimal or anything like that. God damn it again. I, I I just can't remember how that's supposed to actually work. Dun, dun. I'm gonna dash past you real quick. Or not. I'm a DP. You're gonna do it back. No, you didn't. Tornadoes, tornadoes. Set up these two or not. Oh, that was safe. <laughs> just dash right past the kuna okay we we tie things up in this match um tornadoes up do that god damn it i'm a scrub hold this throw tornadoes set these up dash at you oh there's a guard cancel oh, i forgot about guard cancel i've not been doing that at all Granted, I've mostly been on the offense in all of my games so far because Swift Master so D. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And uh, Swift Master, you know, I'd say is one of the harder characters in the game, but he's not particularly hard, right? I mean, I, that, that doesn't make any sense. I'm just contradicting myself. I don't think he's on like the highest tier difficulty, maybe like the tier right below that. I, I, he doesn't feel like the easiest character in the game, especially because. You know, when you start getting more advanced with them, you gotta do a lot more of those uh, those negative edge combos, which I, I don't really do a lot of because I'm not very good at it, but we're, we're gonna practice more of that stuff as I continue to play this character. Wow, just full screen dash into a throw. And I let it happen. Back up off me. Then you got over that tomato, what? Hold this throw. Tornadoes up. I, what am I? I don't understand. Hold this throw. Oh, good dash. Wait, how did that beat the throw? Tornadoes up. They had a guard cancel there? Is that what that was? Wait, why did that? Oh, right, because is one of those kunai considered a low? Because I think tornadoes that, that surround Swift Master, they only work against mids projectiles, right? It's like if Ranger does, I mean, I don't know Ranger's buttons, but, you know, the low shot that he does, uh, it actually beats those. Tried to dash and I fucked up. Okay, okay, they get another round on the board. We should be able to take this next one, though. We should be able to take this next one. Don't ask me what that setup was. I don't have an answer for you. I don't know what I was thinking. Hold this throw. Are you dead?
well, uh, I figured I was gonna take the game. And now, uh, I didn't think it was gonna be a perfect, though. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't think it was gonna be a perfect, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we, we just gonna hop back in the ranks in the next video. I'm gonna get back to streaming this game for sure, which, by the way, if you don't follow the stream already, link is always in the description down below at twitch.tv slash at the end of duel was like the main thing i was streaming i mean we streamed a, a decent bit of dragon ball lately because you know we're world finals and everything like that uh but as far as like games i was playing dnf duel felt like the game i was playing the most and i'm really excited to get back to that so if you don't already follow the stream you should definitely check it out um speaking of dragon ball fighters we also still have uh the um the uh the, the finale for that for the, from, from the hyperbolic weekly where basically players were competing in you know the uh the tournament that was being hosted uh, hold on, let me, I'm all over the place. Let me catch my breath and slow down. I don't know why I'm like rushing to, to end the video. Um, so we've been streaming a lot. DNF Duel, DBFZ, uh, Monster Hunter Rise is a game that I was playing a lot. I know the new update is out for that. I haven't had a chance to play yet. There's just been a lot going on. Things have been really hectic as, as you guys are all aware. Uh, so I want to get back to everything that I was doing. Multiverses, I believe, also just dropped today. The open beta did, and I see people were streaming that, so we're probably going to get back to some of that soon. Maybe even throw a video or two if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but also, we have the conclusion to the weekly that was being hosted by Wrecking Co, aka well, Van Kill and his, his team uh, in Cloud805, where you have the four best players in the West and the four best, four best players in the East meeting up to face off against each other in like a big Summit-style event. Uh, so details of that will be in the description down below, as well as I'm probably having the thing for you on screen right now. I forget the exact dates off the top of my head, but like I said, it'll be on screen for you guys right now if you're looking. Um, so yeah, that, that's gonna be really exciting as well. And I'll probably be, probably be restreaming and watching that. And I believe that's this weekend. No, next weekend, right? No, it's this weekend. I'm pretty sure it's like the 22nd to the 24th. Yeah, so there's also that to look forward to. Um, I'll be sure to talk about this again in multiple videos and in streams as we get closer to that date. Uh, and then after that, is there something else I'm forgetting? I feel like there's one more event before EVO that I might be forgetting about, but I'm not sure. But yeah, there's still some more DBFZ action on the horizon. DNF Duel obviously is doing really well, and I'm glad to see people enjoying this game because I'm enjoying this game a lot. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching the game and playing it as well. And I think that's about it. I'm going to continue unpacking and getting my house together and setting up more things in the office. You know what I'm saying? Finishing things off. And um, continue to pump out this content for you guys and grind it. Now that I'm moving to my new location, I'm... I'm ready to just get back to work and probably work even harder than ever before. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and take off for the day. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit the video the like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all, for all the awesome content. So down, nigga, damn. For all the awesome content I plan on bringing you. With all of being said, that's pretty much all I have today. And remember, nothing can happen until you swing the bat. Later.